play. Here's game number two for him as the Clippers were hosting the Atlanta Hawks. No Kawhi Leonard again. LA 0 oh 3 without him, but Paul George was just firing away from deep and then moving in a couple steps. A step back jumper, though, is good. Terrence Mann swings it to PG 13 for another three. And it beats his two box, hands it off to PG 13 for a three ball. 74 62 Clippers at halftime. More from Paul George because. Why not? Look at that. Somehow he gets that to fall plus the foul. Here's another and one. And Paul George saying, you know what? Take it, Jermichael Green. He says, you know what? I'm going to give it right back to you. And he knocks it down. Six of 11 from beyond the arc. Paul George says, I don't know what's going on. Things are just falling for me. And then he gets the block on Trey Young. Says, I've done enough school today. I'll give it to Montrez Harrell off the glass. 37 points for Paul George in just 20 minutes. Steve Ballmer, the funnel. George, the first Clipper in franchise history to score 30 plus in his first two games. He's now scored 70 points in 40. <laughs> Let's just say that average wasn't going down after Saturday. Knocking down a three, he can do that with regularity. Gets to the rack with the best of them as well. And Harden had 18 points in the first quarter, had 30 by halftime. As he gets into the paint, stepping back right there, Rockets had just a two point lead at halftime, though, 64 62. Carl Anthony Towns leading the way for the T-Wolves, who are once again without Andrew Wiggins, out for personal reasons. Towns, 27 points and 15 rebounds. Here he is off the feed from Jeff T. But too much Harden in the end. Tell me if you've heard that one before. He was 8 of 22 from beyond the arc. He took 41 shots, career high, second most in franchise history. Also was 9 of 11 from the line as he gets that and one. He had 49 points, third straight game with at least 40, seventh 40 point game of the season, 84th of his career, which makes him fifth all time on that list. The Rockets, oh yeah, they won their seventh in a row. One have lost six of seven. Early on in this one, C.J. McCollum providing an offensive spark for the Blazers. Step back three, and then off the feed from Mario Hizonia, McCollum hits another one. And then driving to the bucket for the one-handed floater, McCollum had 32 points, also six rebounds. Lincoln trying to rally the team at home. Spurs down by nine when DeMar DeRozan hits the tough lay and plus the foul. He completes the three-point play. And then DeRozan missing in transition, but LaMarcus Aldridge there to clean up the mess. Aldridge had 30 points and 13 rebounds, and it's a two-point contest. Spurs going to push a lead to double digits. Rudy Gay with the steal in the lay in part of an 18-3 Spurs run, but the Blazers answer back. Hassan Whiteside had a good game in this one off the feed from McCollum, plus the foul. And McCollum misses, growls his own miss, goes back up strong, tying it at 111. Same score, Rodney Hood from the corner. Look at that tough shot. DeRozan with the foul, it's an and one. Caps off a 10-0 Portland run. They lead 114-111. It's 114-113 when DeRozan drives but gets blocked by Whiteside, who had 21 points, 12 rebounds, and three blocks. Portland gets... Trip. They were in Dallas to take on Luka Doncic and the Mavericks. Doncic, comfortable early on, the pump fake, and then cross-court pass to Seth Curry for three. And then Luka, keep this one himself. A tough floater that he manages to get to drop. 26 points, 15 rebounds, 7 assists. Luka, 
Luka, three assists shy of the sixth triple-double of his season. Meanwhile, for Toronto, Pascal Siakam flashing some defense, the steal, and then he finds Norman Powell for three of his team-high 26. Then the big block from Siakam, and as he trails on the play, they reward the big fella. On the other end, 15 points for Siakam, also dished out seven assists. Toronto led 60 to 53 at halftime. Kristaps Porzingis on display in the third for Dallas. Turnaround jumper is good. And the Unicorn, a big dunk right there. He had 20 points and a season high 15 rebounds. Dallas up 71 66 at that point. Toronto turns it over, and it's the former Raptor, DeLon Wright, laying it in on the other end as two Raptors were in hot pursuit. Point game, but. Luka Magic would restore order for Dallas. Look at that pirouette as Doncic helps seal it for the Mavericks who get a 110-102 home win on Saturday night.